Hi everyone, welcome to Soul Like Dotting It Forever Daisy Chain. If we've not met before, thank you for stopping by today. My name is Alison and today I'm really excited, can you tell? Because I've got my first ever So Haley Jane box and it's literally arrived about three hours ago. Um, and I don't know how I managed to get my hands off it for so long, but I wanted to unbox it live with you today. So the only thing I've done is I've just cut this little tab here. So I've got my cuppa. Grab yours, let's have a little a little rummage through together and see what's in there. Um, so I, I, why have I got this today? Well, I've, I've been subscribing to um, Love Sewing and Simply Sewing magazine for about a year. They are great magazines, um, but I just felt like I'd kind of um, probably got all the patterns that I would want from them. And I just wasn't getting as excited as I was to see them come through my letterbox anymore. Um, I was definitely really excited to get this, so I just thought um, it's time to look for something different, something to kind of inspire me, challenge me, and um, yeah. Anyway, I don't need to explain why I've got it to you guys, do you? You understand. Um, so apologies if you've not got yours yet. I think everybody should have got theirs. Um, I was with um, some lovely ladies yesterday in north of Newcastle. Tamlin from Sewn on the Tyne had organised... Um, hashtag Sawtoon. Um, so if you live in the North East and you want to come along with me every other Wednesday and um, on a Sunday twice a month. Um, so I'll tell you more about that on my next vlog. Um, but I was asking her, when do the boxes arrive? Um, and she said it should have come today or yesterday. So I'm so excited to get this. So here we go. Here we go. So you've got it wrapped in that beautiful yellow tissue paper. As always, I've watched so many unboxing videos of these in the past. Um, so I apologise for the rustle. I don't want to tear or anything. I'm so excited to say. Oh, oh, I've already seen it. And it's really, really my cup of tea, the fabric. I can see it already. So, um, of course, it's Valentine's month. So love is in the air. Is the thing for the month. And I'm going to explore that booklet in just a second. But first of all, I'm just a dive straight in sort of a girl. And I have gone for the classic box, which is kind of the in the middle um, box, if you like. And um, so this one comes with um, lots of fat, so four fat quarters. I feel mean I'm looking at it before you. Um, so, yeah, here we go. That one's so cute. And I'm desperately trying to remember what macaroons, that's what they call. I'm so excited, I can't think what they're called. So some macaroons on that fat quarter. Um, oh, that's really me. Um, your, your coffee cups, it's very Parisian. Absolutely, you've got the Eiffel Tower and um, another different fabric with the Eiffel Tower on. I'm looking forward to seeing in the, um, the little magazine what Tamlin's recommended to make with those actually. Um, some buttons from um, Pigeon Witches, which could not be cuter. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love them. And then, oh, what else have we got? We've got some um, ribbon. Oh, this is so pretty. Let me kind of, I don't know if you can pick that up very well. There we go. Um, so with, it's pink with little hearts on, absolutely gorgeous. And then I'm gonna give you a hint at the color of my um, fabric because this is the thread. Oh my God, um, it so matches my nails. I'm just ridiculously excited, can you tell? And then in here, oh, it's quite heavy. Oh, this is lovely. In fact, I had a dress on yesterday that's very similar to this, but a bigger spot. So this is, it's absolutely so soft. Um, it feels like a like a cotton poplin, I would say. Um, absolutely lovely. I'm going like that because I've got a rhubarb um, wax melt in today. The whole room smells gorgeous. How lovely is that fabric? I really like that. And I think you get maybe two or two and a half metres of that. And actually, I've just got a pattern um, today. Give me two seconds because... I think I know what I'm going to make with it already, how amazing is that? Because I'd already downloaded this um, pattern at the weekend. It's from um, the Little Pomegranate and it's the Sabina skirt. And it's a free pattern when you subscribe to the vlog. Um, elastic waisted skirt 
with a frill along the hem and literally this morning at the same time as this arrived I sent this off to Flamingo Prints to get printed out on EO paper that's arrived and that's exactly what I'm going to make with this skirt because I think it'll be absolutely beautiful it is so my cup of tea and um, and also well sweet treat has got to be I guess for Valentine's some love hearts um yeah so I'm gonna I don't want to move it I, just, I was so excited to see what fabric it would be and um, a little bit nervous as well to see if I would like it. But this is so me, absolutely it really is. So let me just pop that. I'm going to leave the fat quarters out and um, the fabric and I'm just going to pop the box to one side and um, I'm going to have a look through um, the So Haley Jane magazine, issue number 38. Um, so you've got a lovely welcome from here. I'm just a dry, dive straight in person. In fact, I'm probably the person who normally starts at the back, works my way forward. I don't necessarily have a logical process with anything at all. Um, so there, there are interviews with the, I think it's the Pigeon Wishes team there, who's made those buttons in the box today. The make of the month um, is Elisa, who used a shimmer viscose from the Christmas box, which I saw on the... Um, on the December shares and she's made a beautiful um, top with that and then you've got your three boxes three makes so it looks like there might be a slightly darker version of this fabric and um, so Esther is um, so it's, oh, it is a viscose actually but it does feel quite like it's got um, a cotton element to it um, and she's made this blouse here and um, then Gemma has used the one meter and turned it into, um, oh, I like that. That's a twist on the Davenport dress that I was wearing yesterday and turned that into a little top. So that's pretty cool. And then um, the luxury um, box obviously has a different fabric in and that's a um, Lady McElroy cotton lawn. And she's made the Deer and Door Passive Floor. I'm probably saying that wrong dress and that's Laura. So hopefully you can see that that there and I, I'm, I can't wait honestly to make a cuppa and have a read of this um, so Tamlin absolutely gorgeous lady and um, that's a great suggestion actually to make some bunting hats with um, with that I might just have to pause now I think I've got a delivery downstairs and the dog's going a little bit nuts there we go normality is resumed that's um a delivery for my other business there so yeah tamlin's fat quarters i think that's a really great idea you know and i, I always kind of i do have fat quarters but i do always get a bit kind of what what should i make out of them so i've really enjoyed these over the last few months just sort of seeing them um and giving me some ideas i love this one with the, the garland there uh, that is so cute and you know it could be a garland but when you look at those you just think they could be kind of little centered um things to go in people drawers and things like that for little gifts and um, they would be lovely wouldn't they and um, so it gives you a step by step on how to make those and then here are these little links so you've got a book there you've got a bacon at home kit and um, yellow jacket showtime movie and a cross stitch kit so some different ideas and then um, moving in the profile this month is um, Lindsay, who is So Lottie So on Instagram, um, an interview with her there. I can't wait to read it. I've already drank my coffee while I had a little break while the dog was barking. And um, pattern picks, which come from the Ford line, and I was just watching their recent vlog yesterday. Um, so you've got the Ashling blouse, you've got the Azores top, and the Frida blouse and dress. And then at the very back, um, you've got your makers gallery as as well there. And um, and then it just tells you what's in the ver the different boxes. Um, the In the luxury box this month, the pattern was the gathered dress by the Avid Seamstress. Um, and that just comes with a little bit more. Um, so you've got an extra fat quarter and you've got three and a half metres of um, that fabric I showed you earlier, the Lady McElroy Cotton Lawn. Um, and in this box, there's two and a half metres of this viscose fabric, which I adore. I'm so, so pleased. And um, in the mini box, there's a one metre of the viscose. Um, so there you go. Right, I'm off. I'm off to have a little ponder, a little read, and a little think of what I'm going to do with everything. But I think I might have already decided about the skirt. Um, 
that was a quick decision wasn't it, it might be made and shared really soon uh, so thanks for stopping by today um, and look forward to catching up with what everybody else has made and um, their plans from their vlogs too bye for now